my 10th RSA and it's exciting to see that RSA is growing year after year. Uh, in this RSA I can see many more partners, many more customers, which is uh, always exciting to see. Uh, this year there seems to be a, a theme loud and clear and it's threats, threat management, uh, predicting threats, uh, recovering from threats and so forth. And I have seen many companies focused on threat management either prior to the threat, uh, preparing for the threat, during the threat, or recovering from the threat. I spent a lot of time at RSA this year really trying to investigate what are some of the hot topics. And one of the things that came up over and over again was advanced threat detection. Advanced threat detection both inside the network and outside the network. Another big thing that we see here is, is, is advanced persistent threats. Uh, cyber attacks are getting more and more more organized uh, and, and advanced persistent threat is something that we are seeing a lot more industry focused around trying to secure the industry as a whole. Some of the trends that I've seen from people coming up to our booth are people are looking for solutions to help protect against advanced threats and also solutions focused on uh, remote users and, and ways of protecting and securing the information that they are bringing in or taking out of networks. Many people spoke about uh, this notion of, uh, of the advanced persistent threat. Uh, I think that one of the things that, uh, that there's a, a real recognition on is that, that sandboxing um, may be one of the things in, the, in sort of the bag of tricks, but it's just one kind of protection amongst many that are actually going to be required in the space. Each one of the companies, you see many companies, each one of them is calling advanced threats in a completely different way. Um, you can see the dynamic analysis guys such as uh, a FireEye or ThreatRack or Bluecoat. You see the traditional anti malware guys that are using the static analysis and call that as advanced threats. And you can see the network guys with uh, correlating bad IPs to uh, network traffic and calling that as advanced threats. In last couple of years RSA, I have seen a lot of buzz around mobile security BYOD. Um, this year, it's more like you know every vendor is doing uh, BYOD and mobile security, so it's 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 a reality now. So at previous RSA shows, there's been a lot of talk about the cloud and about security. At this year's show, we're actually seeing a lot of product demonstrations, a lot of announcements, and it's and it's for real. And I think where this is going in the future is we're going to see much more consolidation, such that the cloud will be the de facto premises, if you will and it becomes a much more challenging security environment. From our perspective, uh, we're looking at the, the various endpoints, a number of different endpoints is just uh, growing. People have uh, truly become multi-screeners and you carry PCs, Macs, uh, iPads, uh, smartphones, and uh, if we look at the homes, uh, you will have more and more internet connected devices. And RSA this year really focused on what is happening, what is going to be happening in the next year. You're going to be more mobile. You're going to have to find a better context uh, to fit security in the mobile, in the cloud apps that you all use and love, but how do we keep that more secure? And uh, going forward, how do we make the next challenge that's coming down the road? And uh, from this year's activity in the floor, you can tell uh, cloud-based services and detection of advanced malware and also mobility, really the hot topics this year. And uh, all security vendors are striving to finding the most effective methods to detect advanced malware from the cloud or um, protect their end users through encryption or through um, you know, uh, endpoint security inspection, uh, all kinds of methodologies uh, to improve the security posture. There were many themes and many solutions offered none of which are, uh, I think, designed uh, as a complete solution for all security problems. 2014 was by far the largest conference in terms of paid attendees and exhibitors, a, a huge growth. Uh, to me, that speaks to both the seriousness and the complexity of uh, IT security. Uh, I think it also speaks to the need for security vendors to work with each other uh, on an integration or API level. Uh, my expectation for the future is that companies are going to be less reliant on single vendor solutions and look more for solutions that play well with each other through integrations, uh, looking for defense and depth strategies. 
in an industry where we spend a lot of times as individual vendors on our own vertical solutions, I think we've collectively realized that we're stronger when we share information together and we're combating the threats more effectively when we're working together. So whether it's a long-standing partnership like Cisco, where I'm from, that we've had with OpSWAT, where their context information makes our solutions more valuable, or newer emerging partnerships that are coming out as folks are sharing context information between SIM systems or packet inspection systems, if we work together, we can beat it.